He's impressive. Incomparable. And now, more than ever, inspiring. Mike the Tiger is fighting cancer with the spirit of a true champion. He doesn't know he still has cancer. Oh. His weight didn't change, his appetite hasn't changed, or his personality. He's really doing well. Mike has a rare, inoperable, incurable cancer, spindle cell sarcoma. A tumor was discovered four months ago around his right eye. Veterinarian Dr. David Baker says Mike wouldn't be alive today without the expedited radiation treatment at Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. The tumor was growing so rapidly and was displacing his eye, one of his eyes, uh, upward. It was moving his eye upward. Uh. That uh, once, if he started having problems with that eye, that would have been the end. Because mm. we're not going to allow him to suffer. So we treated him, I think, at just the right time. It's also time, Dr. Baker says, to keep Mike off the field on game days. We think it's important to minimize his stress while he has this cancer. We don't want to weaken his body with stress and, and encourage the cancer to come back sooner than it might have. Mm. So we think this is an important part of managing him and treating him. Fans are disappointed, but also understanding. It'll be sad not to see him at the first game because he kind of like pumps everyone up and he kind of gives everyone that spirit, that boost, especially the players. Bodes well for the opposing team, but uh, his uh, spirit lives through with all the players and everybody wearing purple and gold. Fans will still be able to see Mike on game days, though, in his habitat. The fans can see him out here in his, in his yard, in his enclosure, and that'll be a good thing, too. There's always some stress on a game day, but we'll leave his night house door open for him so that he has the option of going in if it bothers him. Rarely is Mike bothered by onlookers. He's as excited to see his fans as they are. I just feel so happy. He makes me feel tough and powerful. Hi, Mike! The powerful dose of radiation successfully shrunk Mike's tumor. Now the only visible sign of anything is, fittingly, this purple spot. It emerged just a few weeks ago at the site of treatment. Proof, perhaps, he's LSU through and through. LSU freshman Susanna Bobeo says he embodies the true spirit of the university. He's a symbol of unity. Everybody loves him. And so he's kind of like the face of LSU. And everybody feels the same way about that, how they all love the school as much as uh, people love Mike. I think he's awesome. Through his battle with cancer, Mike is blazing a trail in the medical world. He's the first tiger in history to undergo radiation cancer treatment. How he responds, how fast the tumor grows back, and other information doctors glean from Mike's case will be instrumental in all future cases. That valuable medical information could even possibly expand to other members of the feline family. Dr. Baker says he's been amazed how Mike's fight against cancer has inspired people fighting cancer too. I was not prepared and really didn't foresee the outpouring of emotion that, and, and, and concern and, and compassion that people put on his Facebook page. Mm. And in some way, it kind of gave them hope in their own struggles. And I think it was best stated by one woman who shared Mike's news feed with another woman and under it she wrote, see, now you and Mike can fight cancer together. Mike's cancer though remains incurable. Radiation reduced the tumor and extended his longevity from a few weeks to hopefully a few years. But the tumor will grow larger with time. Even though Mike Six will never again appear in Tiger Stadium, Dr. Baker says there's no search underway for Mike Seven. This Mike 
has earned his stripes. Just that fighting spirit, you know, he gets, he's got that terrible, terrible diagnosis that he got and he's still prancing around when you see him out here, he's taking it like a champ.